In this video, I will discuss how to convert 4 to 20 milliampere current signal to variable percentage and vice versa. So, the variable percentage may be a process variable percentage or a manipulating variable percentage. If you see here, the process um, in the process, the process variable is measured by the measuring device and then it will give the signal to the controller. And the controller will uh, uh, decide and it uh, gives the manipulating variable signal to the final control device and the final controlling device will uh, um, varies the manipulating variable in such a way uh, the process variable will uh, reaches the set point so analog electric current uh, 4 to 20 milliamperes is used to proportionally represent uh, the uh, measurement it is a process variable or command signal and a manipulating variable Typically, 4 milliampere uh, current represents 0% scale and 20 milliampere current represents the 100% scale. So, any current value in between 4 and 20 milliampere represents a percentage in between 0 and 100%. If we calibrate a 4 to 20 milliampere temperature transmitter for a measurement range of 50 to 250 degrees centigrade, then the graph is as shown. So, on the x axis, it is a 4 to 20 milliampere current, and on the y axis, it is a 50 to 250 degrees centigrade. So, 4 to 20 milliamperes is um, commonly used industry standard for measuring uh, and transmitting the process variable to the remote location. So, the relation between the percentage of the variable and output signal uh, is as shown below. So, given the linear relationship between the variable in percentage and output signal, the equation takes the form of the standard slope intercept line equation as shown y is equal to mx plus b, where y is the output signal and x is the variable in percentage, m is the span. And this is a 16 milliampere for the 4 to 20 milliampere um, signal, and b is the lower range, lower range value or offset value. And this is 4 milliampere for 4 to 20 milliampere signal range. So, output signal it takes of the form. Um, so, output signal is equal to span into percentage variable plus lower range value. And for 4 to 20 milliampere uh, current output, it uh, takes of the form as shown. So, current is equal to 16 milliampere into percentage variable plus 4 milliampere. So, the above equation form is identical to the pneumatic signal output of 3 to 15 PSA, which takes of the form pressure is equal to 12 PSA. So, it's a spam for 3 to span for 3 to 15 PSA into percentage of the variable plus 3 PSA, which is a low range, low range value. So if you take the if you see this example, so an electronic loop controller outputs a signal of, um, of 8.55 milliampere to a direct responding control wall. So where uh, for 4 milliampere uh, the control wall is completely shut and for 20 milliampere it is completely open. So how far uh, the wall is open um, for the signal of uh, 8.55 milliampere? If you see we know the equation current is equal to 16 milliampere. That is span into percentage of the variable plus 4 milliampere. If we put this 8.55 milliampere in the above equation, we are getting around uh, the manipulating variable around 28.4 percent. So the control wall will open 28.4 percent when the controller is giving a signal of 8.55 milliampere. Here we are, um, uh, here the x is manipulating variable. So in this example, if you see. So, a flow transmitter is range, that is ranged uh, between 0 to 350 liters per minute is giving a 4 to 20 milliampere output. So, here we have to calculate the output signal current value when the flow meter um, is um, uh, taking a value of 204 liter per minute. So, you know the equation current is equal to 16 milliampere into percentage of the variable plus 4 milliampere. For this, we have to convert uh, the process variable uh, 204 LPM into the percentage value before putting in the above equation. So we will get around 58.3%. Uh, so then if we place um, this uh, in the above equation, we will get a current around 13.3 milliampere. Here X is the process variable. So the transmitter output uh, a process variable signal of 13.3 milliampere at a flow rate of 204 LPM. So this is another example. 
so a ph transmitter has a calibrated range of 4 uh, to 10 ph with a 4 to 20 milliampere output signal then calculate the ph that is sensed by the transmitter if the output signal is 13.3 milliampere so this is um, opposite uh, to the earlier example so in the earlier example we know the process variable and we have to calculate the output current here we have we, we know the output current and we have to calculate the ph uh, value so for this we have to convert this that 11.3 milliampere into percentage value by placing the equation shown then we will get uh, this uh, around 45.625 uh, percent that is uh, corresponding to 11.3 milliampere and if we place this um, in the equation shown so we are getting around uh, ph of 6.736 so thank you for watching my video